If you ask me to sleep here one night, I think that would be my worst nightmare. You've slept here for one yes. month? Two days, three days, no food. Seeing that makes you realise the scale of the problem, that there are hundreds, thousands, that do not have a bed. A 14-year-old queues outside this refugee camp in Bosnia, begging to be let in. Five hours outside for gate. Can't get in. Nothing. The camp is full. Tonight, like thousands, he'll have to sleep on the streets. Bosnia has become a bottleneck for migrants trying to get into the EU. Thousands make their way from Syria, Afghanistan and Pakistan, and many get stuck, unable to cross the border into Croatia. The government is being accused of neglecting them. The camp is not really set up as a proper camp. It's been set up like, like somebody took the marbles and just threw them down. Four months ago, the government set up this unofficial camp on an old chemical dumping ground surrounded by landmines. Aid agencies have refused to run the site because it's too dangerous. Five Red Cross volunteers come in to provide one meal a day. And other than that, people are on their own. We start, mm -hmm. we serve, and 20 people sleep. So you have to sleep on the floor? Yes. One month this camp, this room. One month. You've slept here for one yes. month? Gosh. This is not what a tent in a camp should be. There's no running water, sanitation or electricity, and no health care. You have about 20 people here. We're taken to a tent where everyone is infected with scabies. We don't even have a medicine to give it to them. Yes. We, we don't. Yeah. You've run out of medicine? Yeah. So all you can do is just try and keep these people separate? Yes, you can't treat yes, them. no. We can't treat them. If you ask me to sleep here one night, I think that would be my worst nightmare. It's not the place for people to live now. Over the summer it was okay, but not now. Now it's terrible. This is not the place for humans. Look at them. With winter coming, conditions are getting worse. We had only three blankets for six people. Do you have enough clothes to keep warm? Uh, not really. <laughs> Hozrat's father was an interpreter for the British Army in Afghanistan. When the British left, the Taliban killed his family. I lost 12 members of my family. They was looking for me. You've been here four months? Yeah. What's it like here? If I had any different choice, I would live a long time ago. I don't know what's going to happen in winter. I'm very worried by it. I've been to the Red Cross and I told them I want to deport myself. It's better to die in Afghanistan. We've been here an hour when we find a 12-year-old boy who's by himself. But he's too little. Yeah. And look at him, he doesn't even have shoes. This is not for a little boy. I think he's, he's, he's at the end of his uh, energy. You can see the sadness and the depression in his face. Single men, these are not even good conditions for them, let alone the children. But what can you do? He's one of 3,000 migrants and refugees in Bosnia, now without a bed. Back on the streets, we're taken round the corner to a disused building. What is this? What is problem? What is this? There's around 70 people inside. They've all got scabies. In a garage nearby, it's the same. Allergy, sickness, many people. 40, 50 people. Two days, three days, no food. Uh, problem, food problem. What is this? Seeing that makes you realise the scale of the problem, that there are hundreds, thousands of people in this part of the country that do not have a bed, that will not have a bed for the foreseeable future. The winters are tough here, and so the risk, and, and I think we have to be very blunt about that, the risk is really if we don't have these beds that people will die because of the cold. If that is not addressed, then we will have a humanitarian catastrophe here, not in a few months' time, but in a few weeks' time. This summer, the European Union gave Bosnia £10 million to set up new centres for migrants, but the government is yet to allocate any new sites.
A hundred kilometers away, in the middle of nowhere, and it's freezing. Police stop a bus heading towards the migrant camps. Police problem, police. The migrants on board are all kicked off. They've paid for a ticket. I guess. Sorry. Do you know where you are? You don't know where you are? This happens five times a night. I just want to know why you've done it. Who's told you to take them off the bus? We are not allowed to give you any statement. Who's told him to do this? We are not going, we are not, I'm not obliged to answer you for anything. The order has come from the local government, which is trying to stop new people from reaching the camps. These people don't know where they are, they don't know what's just happened to them. We're now on the side of a road and they're going to have to spend the night here. When you come here and it's minus five and you see bodies, I can never find this normal picture when I come in the morning. A Red Cross volunteer comes to check on them. Hello, Bosnia. <laughs> yes, this is Bosnia. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> yes. But Bihać is from here 100 kilometers. 100 kilometers? You can walk. No, no car, no, no bus. Car, no. Bus, no bus. No. So this is the problem. problem. Yeah. You help me. How I help you? <laughs> we will see, okay? It's always difficult. Why are your policemen removing migrants from buses a hundred kilometers from here? Mi nezakonite ljude i ilegalne ljude ne možemo dozvoliti da ulaze u Unskusanski kanton. Are you trying to shut the migrants and refugees out of this part of Bosnia? Unskosanski kanton ima određen kapacitet koji može nositi kada su u pitanju migranti. I to tražimo od cijele države da jednako nosi teret. For three weeks now, the Bosnian government has refused to answer our questions. Water, water. Not a water. It's a hole there. This is not a place where people should be staying in the winter time. You don't need a new tent. You need to go from here. They need to start thinking about closing this place as soon as possible. It's not humane. It's not humane for anybody to remain here. UN inspectors have urged authorities to stop bringing people here. They say it's not fit for humans. We're getting the police now. Bringing new people who they picked up from the town. But with nowhere else to take them, still they get dumped here. They pick them up in the middle of the street, anywhere, wherever they see them, and they just bring them here. I think that the hits will only go into one direction once the first person dies. And then we will certainly see solutions emerging. It's really unfortunate that we got to that point because it was not necessary. We have been talking about new locations since January of this year. So we could have been prepared for the winter. Let us just say we were warned that this may come. Let us not wait too long and then say we are all sorry.